right, so I'm finally alive. Um, disappeared for a minute, but finally back and get to cover the Utica Pioneers. Something I haven't done in a while, or something I haven't done at all. Something I'm starting to do, and something I'm excited for because haven't done it yet. I wanted to do it before their last game. I couldn't get around to it, but we're gonna do it now. And to start off, it was a great game played by both sides. Utica ended up coming out on top, and the herd was as loud as ever, although they, they were off the ball a little bit mostly because you already had two sporting events in the day. You had the women's hockey game, which they sadly lost in the semifinal to the same team that the men's team beat, and... You had the men's basketball team lost, and I think it was the E8 championship game, which sucked. But on to the men's hockey team. So they played a great game. They moved on to face. Who are we playing? It's not Chatham. I think. Let me pull it up. All right, because. I don't have it ready, and I'm not finding it, or it's not loading, so I'll just go to UCHC Twitter. That'll be easier. So, going down, we had beaten Manhattanville with the men's team. And they're in... Really? It... I, that's, just, that's not right. Hold on. I, I'm... That's... I, I don't know. I'm confused by this. But... Yeah, that's weird. I don't... I don't know. We're going into next week happy because we came out with a 4-0 win. And... Man, did the team really show up. Eric Collins scored the game winner. And... Then you had... Yep, Twitter hates me. But it was set up by uh, Dante Zapata. Great goal. When we were there live, it was funny here in the herd after that. And that was just the defeating blow to win the game. And I think we can all be happy about that as Utica fans. So, then you had... Actually, no. The assist was from Holland and Larson, and the last goal went to Kavanaugh. Then you had number three scored by Larson with the assist going to Justin Allen. Monk scored goal number two with the assist coming from Brett and Acosta. Then you had the first goal scored by, yep, Holland scored, um, assisted by Zapata and Bart. Barkowski. So, it was an interesting game. The team, it, it was hard fought from the beginning, even though the scoreboard doesn't show it. Manhattanville showed up ready to play. They fought hard. But, you got to remember, you're walking into the number one seed house, and we defend this house. The women's team may not have. They've lost in a crushing overtime. They should have won it. But the men's team blows out Manhattanville and is able to walk on another day and go to the final. Now, there's a lot of... I, I'm so excited. I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to do a pregame look on that game. That's going to be exciting. I'm going to pull a lot of videos from that game. I don't have videos on this... On this um, 
I won't have videos in this from the game on this video, but I will have them in the next one if I can get some cleaned up and I got to look at them and everything. But what a game. And the herd didn't disappoint because I was sitting right behind the herd, right behind the benches. And you heard everything from the patented, you suck, you suck, and you suck, to um, shut up, coach, shut up, which was actually kind of hilarious. She said, go, shut up, coach, shut up, and it was hilarious. We were joking that they were Mr. Clean, you had your normal ball jokes that like they were telling at the first game of the tournament. And they were actually doing research on players and would yell names. Um, they were calling out Emoff, especially at the beginning, and then near the end, oh, who was it? 44. I gotta look up the name. And then you also had normal, like, Utica chants. The you can't do that chant. I love that chant. Because there was one penalty drawn. I thought it was going to be more. Because I was talking to someone before the game. <clears throat> and I go, over under on Jackson getting thrown. Or getting um, ejected or something. Or a penalty. Didn't actually happen. He didn't even draw a penalty. I was like, that's not what we expected. I thought there was like one penalty all game and it was on them. And you also had your Utica chance and everything, which is normal. But there was one that I think got to the goalie a little bit and they chanted it twice. And it was Roy's hairline because the guy's last name's Roy. I'm not going to put a picture on screen, but um, if you look up, what is it? His name's Tyler Roy, Manhattanville goalie. He didn't look like he was an actual college guy. He looked like he was, like, 40. And he, I think he had long hair, too, in the game, which we thought was hilarious. Um, it's not what I expected. Or it's not what I expected, that game. I thought it was going to be a little more hard-fought, more penalties, more fights. There was no fights, which, surprised, which, or which was surprising, very surprising. But, you know... There was no fights, thankfully, and... Alright, who was it that we were yelling at? Oh! No, wait, what was it? Was it Hapo? I think it was. But we were yelling, they were yelling at somebody. And... They were, going, they were saying, like, you suck! And stuff, and... They actually got him squirt him with a water bottle. Now, that's bad, because you're just setting them off. And when you set the herd off, they get worse. Now, they're sitting there going, you suck, and they're yelling a couple other things. And that, and it got worse from there. He does it again. And now, this is like the almost the end of the game. Now, that got him even more riled up. The herd is such a great, like, we'll call you out <clears throat> um, home factor, and it's great. And... If this team can make it to Lake Placid, we got it. I hope the herd's there because they, they help out so much. Because they, they know how to get in their heads. And they do it. You see it all during the game. I'll join in on their chants a lot of times because I love doing it. I'll yell a couple of things because I'm we're trying to throw the other team off their game. You're in our house. We're going to help our team win any way we can without actually getting on the ice. So, that a fun game. Always love being near the herd. <coughs> and... Yeah, we'll see what happens next time because this Saturday there may be no Comets hockey because both are on they're on the road against Syracuse Friday Saturday and then they're home Wednesday Friday Saturday the last time they will be home on Wednesday Friday and Saturday and then they have one more three game home week left in the season till or through April but man it's the the void's gonna be filled I'm so excited. And I hope I'll see some of you at that UC game because it's going to be really exciting. But anyways, I'll see you guys. I'll have, I'm going to record another video after this on the comments, probably. I don't know. I, it may come to fruition. It depends on how the recording comes out. But I'll see you guys <clears throat> later in the week, at least, with another UC video. And hoping, hoping for us to win that championship. For Dante, for Brett, for everybody, I want to see a win. <laughs>